Jesus didn't do solo. For a messianic hero, Jesus seemed to prefer the team approach. For one thing, it wasn't him who wrote down his own story. It was people like Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John who told the world about him. That's the kind of stuff Jesus asked his followers to do. Let's take a look at how Jesus invites his team to carry out his kingdom cause. Then Jesus went around teaching from village to village. Calling the 12 to him, he began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over impure spirits. These were his instructions. Take nothing for the journey except a staff. No bread, no bag, no money in your belts. Wear sandals, but not an extra shirt. Whenever you enter a house, stay there until you leave that town. And if any place will not welcome you or listen to you, leave that place. Shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. They went out and preached that people should repent. They drove out many demons and anointed many sick people with oil and healed them. This passage shows that Jesus' followers are invited to do what he does. They were given authority, told to pack light. They preached repentance and lives were changed. Remember how Jesus is on a campaign against the spiritual powers that keep people in bondage, in captivity? Well, it is that rescue op, that spiritual coup, that captivity confrontation he sends his followers into. That's right, the book of Mark is written to show you how to follow, to follow Jesus. Jesus. And ultimately, he wants to make you like him. In the passage we read, he doesn't guarantee his disciples' success, but everyone they talk to would want to join in the Exodus journey. He lets them know that his message may not be received. We've already seen what hard hearts do when God's freedom rings. There is resistance to this liberation. Remember that repentance costs, but we must keep trudging on proclaiming the good news, announcing the new exodus, and continuing the mission of Jesus together. We will see results. We will see lives changed. We will see people freed. And we will see this oppressive captivity of sin lose its grip. But only if we participate in this story alongside Jesus. All of this is Mark's aim, to get us to follow Jesus, to pick up his work, carry his banner, and live out the new Exodus mission alongside him. Jesus operates with a do-as-I-do approach. So let's join in this Exodus story that brought us from captivity and will bring us into the promised land of the resurrection. Jesus is with us every step of the way. Are you in?